Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will understand the last circuit and also the best circuit for producing high voltage DC. And this circuit is called Cockroft Walton Multiplier Circuit. So, what is this circuit? This circuit is used to generate very, very high DC voltage from a single phase high voltage transformer. How it can do that? By extending the voltage doubler circuit. As we know that the voltage doubler circuit can be used for producing double the, uh, the voltage or it can double the voltage. But here Cockroft well to multiplier circuit, this circuit can be used to produce very, very high voltage, higher than the double of the voltage. So in this circuit, we use multiple stages of voltage doubler circuit to increase the high voltage DC. So what is the uh, construction of this circuit? Let's see the uh, circuit. So this is our Cockroft Walton multiplier circuit. Mainly this is a three stage Cockroft Walton multiplier circuit. Each stage can be considered as voltage doubler circuit. First of all, we have the high voltage transformer. Then we have a three stages of voltage multiplier circuit each stage can be considered as voltage doubler circuit so this is our actual voltage doubler circuit in the high voltage lab as we see this is a fantastic construction of our circuit so this is stage number one which is considered as voltage doubler circuit so each stage consists of two diodes and two capacitors like voltage doubler circuit also this is a stage number two also this is stage number three for the first stage the voltage across the capacitor c2 is the output voltage of a single stage voltage multiplier circuit so for single stage voltage uh, multiplier circuit the uh, uh, the output voltage will be 2v maximum as we explained in the previous circuit for second stage the output voltage is 2V maximum. For third stage, the output voltage is also 2V maximum. So the output voltage for our Cockroft Walton -Walt multiplier circuit will be 2V maximum plus 2V maximum plus 2V maximum. So our output voltage will be 6V maximum, while V maximum is the maximum voltage of the secondary of the transformer here. So this circuit is used to produce very, very high DC voltage as explained now. And this is, of course, the best circuit that can be used for producing high voltage DC. For multi-stage voltage multiplier circuits, for a number of stages bigger than three, we use this circuit. This is the same circuit uh, before, but here more stages are used first we have high voltage transformer then we have the first stage of voltage multiplier circuit then we have the second stage also we can extend and use many number of stages so the output voltage in this case will be 2n v maximum while n is the number of stages that are used now let's see the important parameters of this voltage uh, multiplier Cockroft Walton circuit First of all, we can simplify our output voltage waveform like that. This is our output voltage waveform, and this is the average DC voltage which will be subjected after that to our insulator to be tested under high voltage DC. Also, we have the voltage rebel here. Also, we have the voltage drop. Also, we have the no load voltage when no load is connected. It will be 2NV maximum, which is the maximum DC voltage that can be uh, obtained in our circuit. Let's see the first parameter, the rebel voltage. Rebel voltage can be calculated from this formula. Rebel voltage equals 1 over Fc times n times n plus 1 over F. Also, the voltage drop can be calculated from this formula. 1 over Fc, 2 over 3, n cubic plus n squared over 2, negative n over 6. Well, n is the number of stage and F is the supply frequency and C is the capacitance. The DC low voltage or our DC output voltage will be from this waveform 2NV maximum negative voltage drop negative the rebel voltage so it will be 2NV maximum negative rebel voltage negative voltage drop.
Also, we have the voltage regulation, which measures the uh, total drop of the circuit as a percentage. Epsilon equals V no load negative VDC over V no load. We know that V no load equals 2N V maximum, and V output DC can be calculated also from this formula. And we multiply by 100 to get a percentage of our total drop in the circuit. We know that N is the number of stages, and F is the supply frequency, and C is the capacitance of each unit. All capacitances having the same value, and V maximum is the maximum voltage of the secondary of high voltage transformer. Also, I is the load current. So, what is this relation? This relation represents our DC above voltage. As explained in the previous slide, as our DC above voltage will be 2 NV maximum negative variable voltage negative voltage drop. By substituting with the values of delta V, which is variable voltage and voltage drop in this equation, we will obtain DC above voltage equals 2 NV maximum negative. This value represents the variable voltage 1 over FC and N plus 1 over F, and also this value represents the voltage drop delta V. So, what we can deduce from this important equation of our DC above voltage? We can deduce that as N increases, as the number of stages increases from this formula, as N increases, the output DC voltage increases as N increases. But at the same time, the voltage drop and rebel voltage also increases, but also increases rapidly. So, we need to find the optimum number of stages to get the maximum output DC voltage, to get the maximum output DC voltage. As we see, as number of stages increase, the output DC voltage increases also, so that's good. But also, the rebel voltage and the voltage drop increases, and this is not good. So, we need to find the optimum number of stages to get optimum maximum output DC voltage. Now, we will get an uh, important derivation for the optimum number of stages that can be used. First of all, we have this equation that output DC voltage is equal to NV maximum, negative variable voltage, negative voltage drop. We can make a, 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 a simple a simplification for N bigger than or equal 5. When number of stages is bigger than or equal 5. We can neglect the terms of n square and n because these terms will become small compared to the terms of n cubic. Thus, the output voltage DC can be approximately equal to V output DC equals 2 n V maximum negative 1 over FC times 2 over 3 n cubic. We only take the term of n cubic here and terms of n and n square are neglected. So, for optimum number of stage, we can differentiate the output DC voltage with respect to N and then we take this value and equal this value to 0 to get the maximum DC output voltage. So we will differentiate with N to NV maximum negative 1 over C, 2 over 3 N cubic and equal this value 0. By doing this, we will obtain the optimum number of stages that can be used to give a maximum DC output voltage and an optimum in this case equals root V maximum FC over I while V maximum is the maximum voltage of the secondary of the transformer and F is the supply frequency and C is the capacitance of each unit and I is the load current of our circuit. So this is an important formula that's used when designing the Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier circuit and this value should be taken into consideration to find the optimum number of stages that can be used to give and produce a very maximum output DC voltage. So this is a complete understanding of our important circuit Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier circuit. Thank you and see you in the next lectures.